Hey everyone, I'm Son of Beast and I'm OJ and this is the NBA wildcard position of the 8th seed to battle against the number 1 seed. Who will be winning the team and move on to the playoff spot for the first round? Find out when the game continues. And it's all next after this. Thanks for tuning in for the NBA postseason as the NBA play-in tournaments have the last two teams remaining from Western Conference and Eastern Conference. From here, the 10th seed New Orleans Pelicans put a win and upset the Los Angeles Lakers on a dominant run and Los Angeles Clippers lost the game against the other team of the Timberwolves battling for the next game against the second seed. But now, this is a chance for those two teams to battle for the eighth seed. That's right. We got some great players that are coming back in here as the Pelicans, CJ McCollum, Brandon Ingram, and Jonas Valanciunas are ready to set to kick things off here and face against Reggie Jackson, Nicholas Batu, Marcus Morris Sr., and Ibika Zubox. So, who will be playing for here tonight? We got Pelicans and Clippers here, but I think there might be a lot of average going on here on that side if the Clippers able to take the win or not. If not, then the Pelicans would have to take another win and upset them to try to upset their scores. Well, we might have to see how well it gets there. So, we'll find out what will happen here. And I guess that Looks like you are all hoping to enjoy the final four of the NCAA March Madness as everything is getting closer to the end. And without being said, it's a lot of hard work and dedications out there. And I hope you have your brackets all filled perfectly because if not, you might be losing some points. So without further ado, we're going back to Crypto.com Arena for Los Angeles Clippers and the Pelicans. Let's take you from here. And we got a great look in review. Taking a look at the highest rank out here of LA. And both teams are ready to perform their way. Here at Crypto.com Arena. Pelicans, Clippers, next on 2K Sports. And we are here, Crypto.com Arena is showing a lot of support, and here's Allie. Well, the Clippers are creating chemistry through passing. Paul George and Kawhi setting career marks and assists. Coach Ty Lue said, quote, we'll play through them. It's a fine line because they're mid-range shooters, so when they get to a spot, it's easy to fire. It's about getting into the paint and making those extra passes. Brian? Thank you so much here, Allie LaForce. And with for Jonas, Jonas Valanciunas, he was playing very good. A lot of great offense and a strategy. We really like that one. Starting lineups are currently on the board as Valanciunas and Ivica Zubox are in the center. Then Marcus Morris Sr. against the other player, Herbert Jones. Willie Green is the head coach for the New Orleans Pelicans. And those two guys are ready to perform. Who will it be? And it's the Clippers winning the tip-off here as we are underway here in L.A. Outfield up and ready to go. Who will take it through the H.C. to face against the number one seed? The tomb outside, he will take a coverage of his look after coming up with the loss against Minnesota Timberwolves. First shot for Zubox is no good. The first rebound turns out to be Jonas Valanciunas. Ingram finds Valanciunas and he dumps it down. Valanciunas is looking just that perfect out there, but not too much to uh, proclaim that when his dunk comes in the effort drive, it's hard for him to make him understand and pay for him to give him all they've got. Batum pass to Jackson, right over to Kofi. Kofi has never played here before, but don't be confused if it's Kofi or Kofi, but it's a lot of dedication out there. Zubox makes the layup that will be his first basket of the night. Zubox, really well done for his performance out there. What well, a great hustle offense. Zubox blocks the shot and he turns around the other way. 
That will be a first block here for LA Clippers as they are still tied up. Zubox will go around the other way, takes a shot, and he gets another one. That's a second basket for Zubox. Zubox, really well done here so far, and he's got the second one. And a block, that was incredible. Ingram takes the layup, that will be his first bucket of the night. Brandon Ingram has faced it three seasons of the games against the LA Clippers. 27.7 and 8 on his average. What is the take here for Brandon Ingram here, OJ? Well, a lot of uh, key key of this match up here for, for Brandon Ingram. He really has gotten a, gotten a great solution out there and try to get it there better. But his moment of time may be in a hurry. Not to worry about that. He might have it all. Here's McCollum taking a three-pointer range, and that's good. That will be up by one. CJ McCollum got his first three-pointer of the game. Three-pointer really well played, but wasn't really that hard to try to get there that much. I wasn't even seeing things going on by, but looks like uh, Zubas has to find somebody else here to get the three-pointer. Morris Sr. in trouble bound, and the rebound is on Hayes. That's a great communication on defense, and Ingram on the attack gets the rebound for Coffey. Turn around the other way, only 3.15 remaining in the first period. The score is 7 to 6. Batum looking for Zubox. Zubox got the, the third bucket, and that will be Batum with the assist. Six points in the game. That's a great rebound here. I really like his effort. Another leading tip off here. That will be Brandon Ingram. Jackson passes up to Coffee. Coffee helps Zubox with the screen. Going in the paint, and he makes a drive. That will be also his first bucket for every LA Clipper players. They really do a lot that well. I'm keeping an eye on the player here, Reggie Jackson. Always has made his good career. Might be turning things a lot bit more different without Patrick Beverly, Paul George, PG-13, and Claw Kohai Leonard. But hopefully they'll try to find it another way. Nice drive here for Brandon Ingram. That will be another one for the, for the Pelicans. First timeout will be called by LA Clippers. Only 2.15 remaining here in the first period. But the new changes here for the Clippers and for the Pelicans. And here we got Luke Kennard able to play for his career as the league leaders is turning down low for the Pelicans to be on 16.8. A lot of hard th communication out there for the league leaders. It didn't really help them save them all. Well, I guess I would agree with that because most of them are definitely having a hard time. This is what everyone is causing problems here. For the, uh, for the Pelicans to make their run. But those players, on the other hand, may be very tough. Just about two minutes here as Ingram against Jackson takes it covered. Valanciunas waiting for the screen, but it was kicked away. McCollum for three. Rebounded, up he goes, and it's taken back. Hardenstein with the ball, and with only a minute and 40 to play. Man, right back to Kennard. Kennard, Hardenstein, Jackson, Jackson up, makes a layup, he just got lucky, Jackson got his first bucket, they're back up by one, oh Jackson what a great drive at that point, really seen that coming, but that's a lot of great work, oh Hardenstein denies the shot, and goes with the feed play, Hardenstein with the, with the ball after he made a block. Kennard steps up right over to Mann. Mann, try to look, look around the offensive look. Kennard, good on the triple. That will be Mann's first assist of the game. Kennard looking very well. Top of Fennec. Ingram inside, up far, and it misses. Jackson with the ball. Only 40 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Jackson right in the meet. Kennard right over to man. Spades finds Covington. Covington over McCollum. Reek takes it back. Hardenstein 
Grabs the ball and he got it back in. Hardenstein with the first bucket. They're up by six. Hardenstein really does a great look on offense. That's it. That's for his. That's for his shot. Really well done. Oh, Hernan Gomez gets a dunk, and they are trying to put them back in the lane. Or Herman Gomez didn't really seem to like he was gonna stop by, but he was like flying all over it. Not sure what he will do, but that's all he can take. Man, on CJ McCollum with a shot and it's off. That's the end of the first quarter. 17 to 13 is your score for the first quarter. Second quarter coming up after this. First quarter comes to a complete. Now the second quarter is up underway here at LA. The key starters here, we have all been talking about it before, is that most of the guys are putting an effort here. They're really trying to work their way around. And that's a lot of great hustling on the motion. And I would like to see them get back in the playoffs. They made it to, uh, to the Western Conference Finals, facing up against the Phoenix Suns, but they lost it last time. But we need to see them back again. Hernan Gomez trying to drive it, and they're all around it, and the first foul called on Hardenstein. That will be the first, first team foul on L.A. Looking over Luke Kennard, the last game was 14.9 in December. Yeah, I know. A lot of, uh, a lot of work out there, but he really didn't pay the price out of it because of our, Luke Kennard really had gotten a better, better chance if he tries to go for another one. He didn't really want it to stop, but that's all that he wants to do to keep it on. First free throw went off. And you can see right here, most of the players try to catch their breaths, ready for another uh, shot for the ever player that turned out to be just like him. Except he's not Rudy Gobert or Gordon Hayward. <laughs> not really at all. He makes the second free throw. That will be one out of two free throw, and they're up down by three. Here's Van. He passed over to Covington as he never got his chance to score. Covington, right to Kennard. Man, up for three. Got it! That will be the first three pointer for, for Man and Kennard with the assist. Man, just like an out, out of the temple out there. Didn't really see that one, but that's like a great help. Hernan Gomez on Hernanstein. Graham. Devontae Graham against Van. Hernan Gomez tried to pick on him. Graham slams it down. And that will be taken care of with another two point for Graham. Biggest lead change is here. Only seven to make a lead change to tie up. Boston Jr. bounce pass back to Van. Fates, shot, off and miss, no good. Those guys are definitely here on, on defenders because they are, they are trying to work their way around and they really got to work their way in the paint. Another shot missed here for, her, for, Boss, for Graham. Now Hardenstein, he will right go over to Boston Jr. Jr. to Hardenstein. Finds Covington and great pass by Hardenstein. That will be his first assist and Covington with the ball makes the bucket. Robert Covington really does throw out his hand to the Informato. What a great play for Covington. I'd like to see his next run go with the best. Hardenstein on Ann Gomez. Hernan Gomez scoops it in and he makes another score. Hernan Gomez really got into a good hack of there. But he really has shown a lot of, a lot of work. Artisan bounce past the Canard. Fades. Tries again for Canard. Bounce past the Covington. Around and and one. Tony Snell with a foul, and I will count the bucket for Robert Covington. And now his first foul will be Tony Snell, his first. First team foul for New for Nola. Right now, shooting two at the free shooting one at the free throw line will be Robert Covington. As the count 
as they count the bucket here and one. Just about 3.38 to go. It's 24-18, but one will be changed if he makes it. And he does. Robert Covington gets five points, making that free throw even more easy. Now here's Minan Gomez. Really looking for his score. Jones on the two. Jones trying to switch in the drive. And he makes the bucket here as Jones picks up his first bucket. They're down by five. And but for Jones, he really has done a lot of his good effort. He really stayed in there. He made some good moves out of it, but he really doesn't want to get all left out behind. But two, inside, drive, and it went short. Another rebound by Hernan, by Valentunas. Jones slams the dunk, and they are coming back in by three. Looks like Jones really have a lot of them, but there's way too many men open offense to try to make some more room here. They gotta close the gap. Not before Marcus Moore Sr. picks up another bucket here for Clippers. And they're and they're trying to get away with the other team. Jones again. Oh, lost the ball. That's a denying block here by Batum. What a great play. Batum really got it all down there. I like that one. That's a great play on offense to defense. Rebounding the ball won't save him for Robert Covington, but now the number one changes out. Jones tries again, and he will take a drive instead of taking the dunk. Two minutes for the first half of the period. It's 27 to 24. Man, pass to Coffey. Now he will dish off to Covington. Tries again for Batu. Fades and doesn't want to risk it. Coming to him with the ball. With the shot clock winding down, it will be carried out. Hernan Gomez with the rebound and it's will change it up. The other hand with Temple with the ball. Now he goes to Alvarado. To Valentunas. Right to Temple. Shot clock down to five. They need to get a shot. And a great D by Coffey and Batum gets the rebound. That's a great uh, help here on, off, on defense. They really got a good handle to put the pressure on for the show. Batum answers back and the foul is called on Robert Covington. His loose ball foul. Well, let's show this play one more time by Mobile One Block. That was great block for Batum, and he pulled it out. Batum, oh man, I really like his show. When he really wants to come up here, he really wants to give the ball away to you. And he said, hey, hey buddy, you want, want, some, uh, want some bet? I don't, I don't think that wouldn't be helpful. Jones, now a Jonas slams it, and a Jones quick assist pass. They're just trying to keep it back in there alive to close the first half. Zubox, back to Jackson, right to Coffey, fades, now rolls over to Batum. They definitely did count the bucket here, but this will be very hard to step in. And a nice solid D here on, on Hayes. Now it's Al Alvarado. Colorado against Jackson. Jackson trying to go with the steal, but he carries out. Ingram with the ball. Screen off and away, and a rebound takes it again for Coffee. Coffee with the ball. Zubox. Coffee, will he take it? No, that will be off the range. That ends the first half. It's 30 to 26. Let's catch you here with Valley of Force. Thanks so much. Robert, this team's offense has been going in the first half. How did you guys get that rhythm? Just finding the right shots. Um, overall ball movement, attacking drive, attacking close out, and just finding the open guy. We've seen him feel how they was going to guard, so we adjusted to that and got them to find us in the right spot. It all starts with attacking the rim. Back to you. Right. Thanks, Allie. 
First half is done. We'll be right back with the second half. All right, commentators are on the board. Let's check out the recap of first half. The Clippers throughout the first quarter. They had a four-point advantage at the end of the period. Scoring-wise, they broke even in the second, so a little ground was lost there. And taking a look at the Clippers, Kenny, what did you see out there? Defense scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy, and they were able to get the start of the progression of the play. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have from the second game. Shaq, how do you think New Orleans play? No use putting up points when you just get them right back. All right, the two teams have been in the zero from the three game. Coach and Puma's hair up. Come on, guys. Want to go ball in the second half? And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel Willop. Joel Willop. Let's get you back in the game. Thanks for joining us. And with the third quarter ready to go, it's 30 to 26 as the New Orleans Pelicans are trailing by four. Looking at the stat is Ivica Zubox that changes his effort. The key is, I think that Ivica Zubas is doing really well. Got a block, got a great rebound. I think he can do it a lot much better here in the second half. I agree. TJ McCollum with the ball as they are all fueled up and ready to go for the second half. And a great basket for CJ McCollum to start the run of third quarter. They're down by two. Jackson, coffee on. No problem here. Jackson with the assist. That's a great play. That's a great help here. What a great quick pass that turned out to be just like that. And no fouls given up to Zubox as Valentunas misses a shot. He will give it off to Jackson. Now this time he goes back to Zubox. Zubox passed to Jackson. With the double man, fade on him. Coffee, up to Moore Sr. inside. Makes the bucket before the shot clock expired. Moore Sr. gets four for the game of the play-in tournaments. Nice solid deep performing run of Reggie Jackson as the layup drive is no good. But Toom in the corner goes to Zubox. And he loses the ball. It's tipped away, and Valentunas has it. Ingram on Reggie Jackson. Jones on Batum. They're moving the ball around here very quickly as they're trying to look for another way to get there. Hayes, shots up. It's no good. That's Morris Sr. with the rebound. Morris Sr. really does that one very often. And we will have to wait patiently out there to keep your eyes on the tune. With the ball, it might be very hard to get out there in the paint. A two makes a drive and the ball right around it to go in there. Seven points for the two. Just about four minutes to play in the third quarter. I see Jim McCollum with the ball. Jackson still covering up here. Jackson missing the three. Valachunas gets the ball and he got it back in there to keep it alive. They really like to do this thing a lot. They really wanted to keep it alive. I don't know what's the key here, but this is like a hard matchup to try to keep an eye on. Senior finding Zubox, right to Batum. Batum inside, makes the drive. He is on the roll. Nine points, and they are extending the lead by eight. They really got it all down here. Batum is like, you're doing it again. What a play. Double man on him, Ingram outside, nobody around, and he got it. That's a number two pointer for the Pelicans. Now the Clippers will have to talk it over with the next timeout call. With 3.09 remaining, 38-32 on the score. It's a lot of great hustling on the bound, and they really have gotten it to step things up a bit. They really like it. I think there might be a lot more to keep it going, and without any motion at all, we might not be able to see any players taking the advantage on offense and the defense on the other hand. It might be very tough, but we may not know if they will try to pick up their way on the bounds. 
field of team comparisons in between those two. Brooklyn of the block, three blocks for Clippers, two turnovers, and no blocks for the Pelicans. They haven't got, they haven't got one anyway, but they really got to try to figure it out in order to step it up a bit. The new group has changed already. Now Robert Covington will be checking back in. Four players are checked out. As four players are checked in, Snell, Murphy, McCollum stays on. Graham with the point guard. And they will take it back here. Man, Boston Jr. and Hardenstein. Jackson in the pursuit. Doesn't hit that throw. And that's another miss here for the Clippers. Hardenstein was looking, was watching, watching Jackson with the play. He was getting here to try to pick up the ball. And, but before he knew he had that one, he didn't really have it all. He had to show him off first to get there in time. But now, this doesn't work that right. Boston Jr. back to Hardenstein. He goes right in there. Drive in, and that's good. Hardenstein gets a second bucket. Hardenstein really well played. A lot of ball movement out there, but that's, a, that's a, like a great help. Foul released. It's Reggie Jackson. First foul, and another team foul has been re released. Valanciunas will head to the free throw line for the first time in the third quarter. Only one has given out to Hernan Gomez here for the first half of second period. Stop the clock at 2:10. We will be shooting two. free throw falls in. And if you're looking at Valanciunas, he really has gotten a great game here since back in the first game against the Boston Celtics. Now we really would like to uh, step it up a little bit. Without playing Memphis Grizzlies, I think his next solution is to try to help them out with the Pelicans. That's good on both. That's two out of two free throws for Valanciunas. And now rolling the clock down, it's Greggy Jackson. Finds Hardenstein. Hardenstein right to Boston Jr. And we're under two minutes left. Man, Hardenstein again makes a shot. That's a third bucket in a row. Hardenstein got six. And they are keeping the pressure alive. And Graham, no good. That's another missed three-pointer. Man finds Boston Jr. Back over to Reggie Jackson. A minute and a half to play. Jackson up. That's good. Jackson gets another two-pointer. Jackson still keeping a stride on the money. Oh, wow. That's a lot of great hustling out there. Graham, a lot of heavy contact here, but he may have shot no problem. Number two pointer is being given release here for Graham. That's because of what his uh, strength is. He's turning out to be just that hard, but he didn't really want to care if he wanted to take it all and head out for the win. That's how hard he has to do. Jackson, fadeaway shot's no good as Murphy has the ball. Graham, on man, screen, rejected away, and another basket goes up by Murphy. That'll be his first bucket with Graham assist. That's a great year. That's a lot of great passing skills here for our New Orleans Pelicans, but I think Clippers got to find a new solution. Jackson, face the shot, wow, he is unstoppable for the play-in tournament. And now the second side of it goes out to the other side of McCollum. He is on pressure, look at that. Sell for three, that's good. They are rapidly trying to push their way to close the third quarter. Jackson with the ball. He rolls over the man, five seconds. Boston Jr. with a two. And that will not count with the shot. That will be off the target. And that concludes the third quarter.
46 for the Clippers, and the Pelicans for 43. We're on to the last quarter remaining. Stick around later after this. It's time to present your State Farm Assist of the Game. One my favorite suggestion right there. This is what everyone was releasing. The number one. Reggie Jackson, Batum. He's like a great killer out there. And a lot of uh, pursuing the weights for him to be on the next level. What a play here for Reggie Jackson. We have played three quarters so far, and now this is the last quarter remaining of the playing tournaments before pursuing the NBA playoffs. Kanar to Zubox. And Zubox scores the drive. That's another assist by Kanar. Kanar really got a great handle of it. He's like a killer machine. He really does it. And that goes with the goaltending. Ivica Zubox has given up with a block, and now this will have to turn over the call. Now the next change is up. Boston Jr. will check out, and Moore Sr. will check back in. Batum moves over to the small four position. Man, right to Batum. Zubox, up again. No good. That's another miss for Zubox. Zubox would have gotten a little bit much better if he would have to try it hard. But that will be very tough for him to keep an eye on. Another one for CJ McCollum, and they are tied up now. Man, right over to Batum. Fates, rolling to Batum. Finds more senior. Off carry by Batum. Really got to see Morris Senior scoring the bucket and assist by Zubox. Morris Senior definitely did really well. I'm hoping this will be the next level for him. And McCollum tied again. And they are going all over the place. Pelicans and Clippers really got to spruce it up a bit. They got to find something else. But two, right to man. But two, relief. Good! Batum gets its first three-pointer for the second half, and they're up by three. 12 points for Batum. He is unstoppable. I literally like him. That's a lot of great hustling and the bustling. McCollum up. Another two-pointer carried out. No score lead change yet. Man, he will go right over to Kennard. Now switching up here on offense, here's Kennard. Finds Batum with a three. And a second three-pointer doesn't go in. McCollum has the ball. And they are looking for a pursuit to try to take the lead. Ingram on Kennard. Kennard on Ingram. Ingram up. That's good. They take the lead up front for 334 remaining. Brennan Ingram really has gotten a lot much better here, but you get, but you can't leave the man open like that because the other guys are right on the attack. Kennard, right to Batum. Batum inside, foul, and one! Batum dominates his run, and a foul goes up on a number one for the Pelicans. What a play here for Batum. He is like showing off his moment of silence from the New Orleans. And now they are giving a roar and crazy crowd cheering wildly in LA. One shot left for Batum and this will be his, his advancement to, to take the lead by two. He didn't hit that throw, but I will keep him one. McCollum on Batum. He has to watch out for him to keep an eye on. McCollum, again. What a great D. Three man attackers. Senior, right over to man. Coffee, right to back to Batum. Morris Senior will help him out. Batum, right to Coffee. And he will have to try to work his way run. Can he make it? No, he does not. Now they got to try to figure out the lead. McCollum on coffee. 
Screen. Rejected away. Didn't want to take the risk of it. And there it goes. CJ McCollum back up by one. The next timeout calls up is the Clippers. It's only 2.25 left in the fourth quarter. And the Pelicans could be facing another upset. Well, they only played last time here since they have already beat against the against the Lakers with an upsetting score of the ninth seed. But I think it might be very hard enough if the Clippers can dominate the run and try to take them out with a single digit scoring run of his opponent and then advancing to the first time ever since they haven't made to the playoffs yet and haven't won the finals. Here are the uh, different comparison in between. Two steals for, for the Pelicans, two turnovers. And 21 is rebounds for the Pelicans. 16 rebounds for Clippers. I, get, I think 11 assists could be a little bit less. 19 assists here for the Clippers, no problem. They definitely did dominate their run, and they may have another transition to go in there. And now let's present your New Balance player of the game as this run goes out to C.J. McCollum. C.J. McCollum really got in a lot of uh, good, worthy shots. Without taking the credit of Portland Trailblazers, he really wants to pursue his run without Zion Williamson. Hopefully their team will be on their way to try to make the comeback rally and put another upset in order for them to make their run heading to the playoffs. Here's Jackson. They're trying to dominate their run. He only has six points in the game. Moore Sr. Jackson for the lead. And that's no good. Valentunes gets the ball and he goes pulling it back the other way. Batum with the steal. And with the three on one attackers, here we go. Jackson with the ball. Two minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Zubox up. Doesn't hit that one. McCollum with the ball. On Zubox. Passes up to Valentunes. The tomb on the ball. Trying to get rid of it. With the shot. Rejected by Zubox the second time. What a play. The astonishing man. Zubox is just keeping it going. Back to Jackson. Now we're rolling over to Batum. Batum for the lead. And it's no good. Another miss by the Clippers. Ingram. Trying to run their hustle. And a bad pass here. That will be Clippers ball. Ingram forced another turnover on the New Orleans Pelicans. And a great mobile one block by Batum. Batum really has dominated his effort out there and just happening in the first half, but now it's Zubox to take him care of. He is putting up a show. Jackson will try to take a third attempt here to pick him up the run. Right him over. Coffee outside. Back to Coffee. Under a minute left. With the lead. No! It's Valentunas with the block. First block carries up, and another rejection. Valachunas fighting it back. Zubox has it covered. Poppy, Lee, Morris Senior, good! Morris Senior dominates his run, and the next timeout called by the Pelicans. Oh, ho, 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 ho. man, Morris Senior is like on fire for today. I think they are trying to work their way around here without the three-pointer shot. Now he's on a three-point line. I guess he would have been dominated to count as three-pointer, but it will not. So it's only a two-pointer as keeping it up just alive, and they really have it. But they did dominate the three-pointer outside the range. That was a little close, but if, they were, but if it was called by a two-point shot, well, <laughs> I would have guessed and it would have been very hard to be 57 to 56. So far, the crowd is going wild here in the Clippers arena of Crypto.com arena, and now they're looking for their way to get back in the playoff game to beat against the clip, clipping team of the Pelicans to end their Cinderella story. And both 
team, so making some changes here. Just a little change up for the defense. Now McCollum with the ball. Jackson with the carry, and McCollum will have to take their time out. Just about 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. We'll be right back after this. No timeouts left for the Pelicans. If he makes it in there, then it will be their final timeout for the Clippers. McCollum, looking strength, delete it. No, rebound by Valentunas. McCollum again, it's in! Three-pointer has made it in so far, and a final timeout will be called out by Clippers. Oh boy, it looks like CJ McCollum is looking for a chance to get in the playoffs. If they make it, then we're gonna have another upset here for the LA Clippers to be eliminated. Just not another day here was well, an exciting moment here of the NBA play-in tournaments. And the last game will be handling off of Nets and the Hawks. That will be happening here on Monday, once again, on Son of Beast. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, because if you don't, somebody will. And make sure to follow me on my social media. And we will keep you updated and posted here for the uh, postseason. And we will keep your eyes tuned here for the NHL of the Stanley Cup playoffs of the game after the wild card. With a domination of the run, they will have to do one more offensive look. They're going to need to try to do it to get there alive. Both teams on no timeouts. Last possession for the Clippers. They need to try to win. Senior finding off, and it's knocked away. It didn't go through. Pelicans take the ball. Wow, a disappointment effort here. That's going to be another win here. They wanted to take it off, but now it doesn't happen. Now the foul is called by Reggie Jackson, his second personal. And another team foul. Last one will be two on one. And another foul called by Jackson. It will now be two on one free throws for CJ McCollum. Looking for an upset. He makes the first one. Next one will carry to take the three, four point lead. And he does. CJ McCollum trying to look for an upset. And Zubox. Three pointer up. And they're off again. And that will have to do for the Pelicans beating the, the second upset team against the LA Clippers. Lakers gone, Clippers gone. What a shock this moment out there. And the Pelicans are going to the playoffs for the first time in the history of the Bay game. I'm very obsessed already. This is like the worst thing that everyone was complaining about this game. I have no offense on that one here, but that's a lot of huge stories. And that will do it. Your final score, 63-58. to They're heading on to the playoffs to take against the number one seed in the first round. And now let's take you in to the courtside by Ali LaForce. Ali, it's all yours. Brandon, hot shooting for you tonight. Where do you get that confidence level to take over like this? Uh, just coming in and working on my routine every single day. You know, I think my teammates put me in a really, really good position to uh, step in the shots and give me confidence on the basketball floor to shoot the ball and also give them the basketball to do whatever they want on the floor to create and make something happen. So confidence comes from my teammates. And you've been a great teammate as well. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Alan LaForce, and we'd like to thank you for watching the Western Conference play-in tournaments of Pelicans and the Clippers. Two streaks in a row for the Pelicans, and they're moving on to the NBA first round of the playoffs. Here are your three stars player of the game, starting off with number three, OJ. Would you like to take from here? Sure, I would like to do that. Why not? All right, here's number three, as we're all looking for. Nicholas Batum is just putting up a great, incredible score 
to try to work their way on. And a block before the slam dunk has taken over. 14 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist, and that was just how play it goes. And with a great combination, he's putting up the best. Here you are, Son of Peace. Number 2, take it from here. Thank you. Number 2 will be handling it off on the other side with the biggest uh, upsets of the game. It's uh, Brandon Ingram. He put it up 12 points, 2 rebounds, and definitely, definitely nothing else to go with the steal or block. He is just amazing how he did. 16 minutes on the court, not a problem. And your take here, OJ, number 1, I think number 1 was going to go for the New Balance player of the game. That was CJ McCollum, 23 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists, 1 steal. And just amazing to make the leadoff change even tighter. And the fans really knew that CJ McCollum has missed out with Portland Trail Blazers, but not for tonight. I'd like to thank you all for watching of this game with me and OJ Gunn. This has been a presentation of the Western Conference NBA Play-In Tournaments. The NBA Play-In Tournaments will continue as we will have the Eastern Conference matchup of the last two teams remaining, Nets and Hawks. Well, that's going to be the end for today. Peace out everyone for us a while as the NBA Play-In Tournament dial, along with NBA 2K22 dial. I like you with all. Thank you for joining us here for the Western Conference. Eastern Conference is next. Take care, folks, and have a good night.